Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet, and I am here in the Everglades, mainly because this is one of my best areas for getting cash in this game, and I am not joking, guys. You know, I had somebody say something about the size of my net, and yeah, my net is pretty good size. Don't My Fish Castle XXL can hold up to 440 pounds, but... The amount of fish that I can catch in this map, as you can see, is 159 at this point. Check out how many I've got, guys. I have 39 fish, and I've so far earned $12,000, and this is in one day, guys. One day. During the peak time, you go for the largemouth bass. And you can also go for the red drum. And the red drum like to go for this little wonder right here. They love this crankbait six foot. Absolutely adore it. They also like to go for the uh, yellow spoon as well. Pretty cool stuff. But we're gonna give a shot try at this particular peak to see how many largemouth bass we can back catch just here real fast. Let me come over here guys. Let's just toss this over here. These guys bite pretty darn good over here. The nice thing about that is you don't have to waste any of your bait. Because you can just keep using these until they wear out and they hold up pretty good. They hold up pretty good. It's like I said, I already have 12,000 and I'm just now at the peak. As you can see, they are biting, biting, biting. There we go. I also have this at a little bit lower so it's a little more of a challenge too. So I'm not just making this seriously easy on myself. I mean, I could, but what's the point? Yeah, because I've got some rods in there that would... I could just haul these guys in without even, out, even an effort. I think I might have a peacock bass here, just judging from the way he... I thought I saw a really bright green. Boy, he is really giving me a fight. No, it's a largemouth. And he's decent size, too, for a largemouth. I mean, he in the trophy, but he's a good size... Large man, look all the cash guys, 427. I mean, you can't beat that. Let me see if I can put something else on here real quick. Where's my inventory? God bless it. Backpack, there it is, okay. <laughs> Losing my mind. Let's see. Okay, this is weird. I'm getting some kind of a bug going on here. I can't see my tackle. Red tiger, lemon tiger. Okay, there it is. It's invisible! 
Yeah, you can definitely use these lemon tigers or yellow tigers. And the lift and drop, that'll get them every time, guys. See what I mean? Whoa! About yanked him out of the water there. Really don't have time to mess with them. There we go. Another one. 355. I think I'm going to switch over to this one here real quick. Is this my. No way, map. Something. Oh, rod number two has no tackle. What happened to rod number two? Hmm. Yeah, I like rod number two because it's got stronger line. This is floral point one 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 or point oh one one or whatever. this would be better to bring in those trophies going through here a little bit and showing you just how easy it is to get them to make the bucks here I see over here you can get quite a few largemouth bass and most of the time I can just cast every time and bring one in now over here this is another good place now you might not get it every single time but for some reason during peak times this is just a awesome place for trophies let's see what we got here guys we might have us a trophy we might have one because he's fighting pretty good No, he's just regular. Just a regular old common largemouth bass. But see, what you do is you fish the largemouths and other fish like red drums during the peak times. And then before the peaks and after the peaks, you go for the peacock bass which bring in as about pretty much the same amount of cash as the large mouths do and they're easier to catch to be honest I mean they'll bite just about anything some ravenous little fishies yeah I didn't get one that time I'm gonna try casting right here. Hopefully I won't get a snag. Yeah, they love that lift and drop. Once you get that mastered, guys, you can't beat it for catching the largemouth bass or any other predator fish. As you can see, it works now I'm sure some people are going what about the uniques well I usually don't catch the uniques as much on sunny days you usually catch them better on partly cloudy 
because the peak time in the evening is when they're most prevalent. But they're not easy to catch here anyway. They're not one of the, there's some uniques that are easy to catch and there's some that aren't. And let me tell you, largemouth bass, that's a challenge. Not to bring them in, just to find them. The best spot for him has been right there. Not there. <laughs> right where I showed you. Alright guys, I came back on a different day just so that we can give this thing a try on a different peak, peak period. Let me show you guys. As you can tell, I'm partly cloudy. You have this much higher peak near the evening. This is the time when the trout, the trophy trout, and the uniques become available. So we're going to try the hot period at this point and see if we have any more luck than we did earlier. And again, we're going to try right over here where I told you before. I have to take my drag down a little bit because if I get a surprise, I don't want to lose a fish. Remember the lift and drop, guys. There we go. Okay, we can't set the... No, not that, that much, but we'll set it a little tighter. Okay, this is this guy's pretty decent. Let's see what he looks like, guys. Come on. He's gonna fight me though. He is definitely gonna fight me. Yeah, he's starting to get tired now. Alright. Nice trophy, 751, 7.129 pounds. Now that's a nice one, guys. This is what we want, right here. Now we'll, I'll take a unique, but I'm not gonna promise you that I will get one here. But this is where they are. There we go. Okay, he's about average. Okay, I'm not sure what this one is. It's not a... Is it a peacock? No? Just a little bitty largemouth. definitely in the peak. They are seriously biting. Another good size large mouth. All right, 
Alright, we got something's attention. Very nice. We're just racking up the bucks here. This will go on until about 7 p.m. on these partly cloudy days. I don't know if this is a trophy or just a really large common, but we'll find out here in a second. Oh, he's a trophy, just not the biggest trophy, but I'll take him. I know there's a geek out there somewhere, but I might not get him this time, I guess. Don't think I'm going to get him this time. This isn't him. It's coming in a little too easy. Yeah, this is just a... Another trophy, though. I'm surprised. Hmm. He's a little trophy. Well, guys, this is probably going to be the last good cast we'll get for a largemouth bass. We'll try one more time in the unique spot, and we'll call this a trip. Now, under normal conditions, you could still fish for the peacock bass in about 7 to 9. And you can either float fish them or fish them with bay casting rods, but that's really totally up to you. But if you use shiners, you got a good chance of getting some of those Florida gar. Yeah, I think this is about done, guys. You're about done. I might as well just wrap it up. Well, guys, let's see how much we got in one day here. Because I'm kind of curious. 18,696. That's one day, guys. One day. 218 pounds of fish. So we definitely came away from that pretty good. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.